Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. It is 7.30ish, give or take. <coughs> Excuse me. You can tell these are the first words I've spoken today. It is lovely outside. It's supposed to be warmer today, but not quite as humid. Oh, shoot. I walked all the way in here with something I wanted to put in my empties. Used up yet another Trader Show's body butter. I'm down to one, y'all. Got to make a trip to like Milwaukee or Madison or something. Or my friend picked me up some. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, I feel my head is very plugged up today, like allergy wise. But the humidity has left the building. We were able to have the windows open all night, which is probably why my head is a little bit whatever. But I'm okay with it because I want the fresh air. I will take it all day long. So I slept a little bit better last night, thankfully. Today, by the way, I put uh, macadamia, the, yeah, macadamia hair mask on my hair. And I'm just going to let it sit in there for a couple hours and then I'll rinse it out. In case you're wondering why I'm all like truby towel chic here today. Sorry for the open door there. I, um, I, today is not going to be super exciting. <laughs> Vlog wise. Uh, I apologize for that in advance, but I have so much to get done today work wise. And tomorrow I have a training group in, um, that's not the right word. I have a group of from my customer. I think there's six of them coming in. And I'm putting them through this training that I do. To help them better understand our product. <coughs> um, not just help them, like, with our product, but the product line in general. So, what are we going to have today? I'm down to just two left from my coffee icon trip. And then I have... The frosted cinnamon buns, which I love from Door County. I don't know if they have that online. If they do, I'll link it. This is hazelnut biscotti I'm about to have. Pretty excited about this. The cake boss, um, cake cups, I really like. They're expensive, but I, I don't think I've had a cake cup or a cake boss cake cup that I didn't like. So um, I get them when I do the coffee icon that I've showed you guys about before. They've moved locations, so I'm not sure exactly where they are. I need to I need to Google that and find out. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'm a little concerned that the next couple of days, sorry if I had you pointing the wrong way, the next couple of days are not super exciting. Not that the last past few days have been, have been either. So, however, on Friday, I am, I've told you guys, I'm going to Chicago um, to meet Emily. We're hanging out for the weekend. And... Wait for the Keurig. And I am taking the train down. So you can take the train to uh, Union Station in Chicago. Um, out of Milwaukee, out of Portage. I don't know. I think those are the only spots when I was looking. So I have to drive a couple of hours to get on the train. Um, but oops, just a couple left in there. To get on the train. Uh, and then it takes, you know, the train right actually. I could... Could I drive to Chicago faster? Yes. But the parking at where we are staying in Chicago is like 75 bucks. Most, all, all downtown Chicago hotels are expensive, but this one is really expensive. It's 75 or $80 a night. <coughs> so it's much like, less expensive for me to take the train. I think my train ticket, because I did the uh, reserve ticket, was $36 one way, so 72 only. And then I'll just Uber to the hotel. And all in all, it makes more sense. And then I don't have to worry about traffic. And there's Wi-Fi on the train, so I can get some work done. I can work, you know what I mean? All the way to Chicago. And on the way back, I can... I bet it's not safe to nap on there like it is to nap on a plane. But <laughs> I was just kind of thinking that there... But I could watch, you know, I could download some new movies on Netflix or something, I'll probably bring my iPad. <clears throat> Alright, we had a little pause for me to take my mask. I want to show you guys something, though. I have to move it out from under where I had it. There. So, because my allergies have been a little weird lately, I went back. I had purchased this one other time. 
Um, and I really felt like it helped. So I went and got another one. It's raw honey. And it's from Clintonville, which is the city actually we used to live closer to than we do now before we moved. But it's local. It's like a half hour away. So let's see how it looks like that. It's good on toast or I really like it in tea. So I bought this because if you eat honey from, no, I stuck my finger in that. If you eat honey or use honey, whatever, from um, someplace local, it helps with your allergies. And I believe it because I really felt like it ha helped when I worked through the last one. It takes a long time to work through that. It's a pint of honey. And I use like probably not even a teaspoon <laughs> whenever I have tea and I don't have tea every day. But I made a point of having tea or toast with some of that on it um, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was trying to get it in my system for the allergy reasons. So my contacts are unhappy today. I think that Yesterday when I was sweeping in the basement, all of the drywall dust, it just got all up in my nose, in my contacts, in my hair. Like I just felt like I was covered in drywall. So, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to get in my office, get to work, and I will check in with you guys later. Again, not sure how exciting my week is going to be, but I'll do my best. Wait, though, before I do that, sorry. Uh... I was going to show you guys this, because this is so old. So, I'm just curious if anybody has these or uses these. So, the bread that we bought from the Amish store for Bob's lunches is, let me get it out of here. It smells so good. But anyway, so it's not sliced. I'm going to put it in my bread slicer. I'll just shift it down. But I'm curious, do any of you have this? Just me. This is the Presto. I bought this way back. When I bought, that's what it says, when I bought my bread maker, like back when bread makers were a thing. I'm not saying they're not a thing now, but like when everybody was, that's the only thing that I've ever gone to like Black Friday and it, that was long before Black Friday really was also a thing. So let me think. I remember I was dating Troy the first at the time. We call him Troy the first. Hey, let me see if you guys are here. We call him Troy the first. Because I dated Jim Troy's. Um, he was from South Carolina. He was a very nice boy. Just wasn't for me. So, it was after, I want to say, y'all, I think it was 96. 95, 96, something like that. <clears throat> That's how long I've had this. Twenty-three years. I was trying to do math in my head. Twenty-three years. Anyway, so it has this little electric knife thingy, and I can't obviously show you, but because I can't, I need both hands to do it. But you just turn the little, the knife on, and you use this as your guide, so you know how thick to cut your. You know, you could do it bigger if you wanted it, but I cut it in every one, so it's for sandwiches. But <laughs> I'm just curious, anybody? Anybody have one of these? Remember them? Still have it? Just me. Curious. All right, it's 1140. Um, I rinsed off my hair mask, and then I had my hair up in another twisty turvy, just like to dry. And then I took it down, and it's just air drying. I have to run to see Wilson to help, for her to help me with something. But that's all that I have going on today. So, I think this will fit in here. Um, Angie, when she came, she didn't know that I had bought coffee cake for us, so she brought some muffins from Perkins. So I stuck those all in the freezer because I didn't want them to go bad. I kept one out, and I had half of it here. Oops, let me come over here so I can talk to you while I'm doing it. Um, today is just kind of a really crazy day. Uh, tomorrow will be just as crazy. And I will be able, I'll tell you guys more about that here later this week. So, um, everything will become clear. Nothing bad, just, <laughs> I'll explain it all later. So, I, I just, <laughs> it just feels so badly. You know what I might do is, because I have to go see Wilson, I don't want these crumbs to go to waste, all right? Because I have to go see Wilson, 
Uh, maybe I will use today as the opportunity to vlog the quilt shop for you guys a little bit. If there's nobody there. I tried to vlog the quilt shop the other day when I was there, but she had a lot of customers and I didn't want to be talking to you and trying to avoid them. And I just, you know, it's, it's there for the customers, right? So I just wanted to um, wait till there's, there's nobody in there and then I can give you guys a good tour. So I had that muffin a while ago. <laughs> that happened muffin a while ago. I'm thinking about heating up my leftover. Angie and I went for Mexican yesterday for lunch. So I was thinking about heating up maybe some of that for my lunch, but I think I'm gonna go see Wilson first. I also need to see what the temperature is. I promised Bob that uh, it's supposed to get warm today. Um, hold on. Alexa. Right now, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, it's been a high of 83 degrees. Well, it's supposed to get to 83. Not sure, but what I told Bob I would do is keep an eye on the temperature. It's 71 degrees right now. And if it got warmer in the house, then I would close everything up. Um, that, that sounds funny that I promised him. That sounds weird. We, we discussed and decided it would be a good plan. That if it, gets, if it gets up to 72 or 73 in the house, because he just, where he is, where he works, it's hot. So he doesn't want to be hot all day and come home and also be, be hot. So... If it gets up, I will close all the windows and turn the air on. And that way, too, the air doesn't have to work hard to, to cool down the whole house, you know? So, I'll be sad <laughs> because I don't want to lose the fresh air, but so we'll see. I'll see what it's like after I come back from going to Wilson's. Currently, I was going to take a look. The, you know, we've had the air on even though it's been in the low 80s high 70s low 80s here it was really hot for us anyway it was 90 um or, you know for the fourth weekend but my point in this is that the dew point is low yeah the dew point's only 57 so the humidity has left the building thank you very much all right i'm going to finish these up these couple of things and then take my lunch go um have wilson help me with what i need her to help me with with my laptop and we'll see you guys later hopefully maybe at the quilt shop all right, it's quarter to five. I got a short little walk in, not much. I went and Wilson helped, helped? <laughs> so that sounded like that. And I helped, what is that commercial? What? That commercial where they say, and I, oh, it's shake and bake. It's shake and bake and I helped, I just sounded funny. Um, Bob just waited on hold for like 50, 30 minutes actually, pretty much, yeah. and then gave up trying to pay his a medical bill. So he's a little bit ornery right now. Um, oh, I went by Wilson and she helped me with the, um, something with my laptop because she's, she's real techie like that. But I came out here, I wanted to show you guys the daylilies are coming up. They're such a pretty yellow. I love them. But Bob said the clematis is blooming and so I came out to see that. That was the whole point and I'm bringing you guys with me. <gasps> sure is isn't it pretty i just love the clematis our neighbors <clears throat> on my walk have a clematis and it's gorgeous and this one we transplanted and i was really worried that it wasn't going to come back and it did so i'm super happy about that in case you're curious on this side of house those are the windows in the guest bedrooms downstairs so i need to I need to cut some vegetables for Bob. I slacked this weekend apparently. And I don't know why. I got out of my normal routine because I don't know. Maybe Cassandra's here or something. I don't know. I just wasn't really thinking about it. And it was like, you need to cut me some vegetables. Right. Get, get right. Get on it. So I'm gonna do that and we're going to have some leftovers and uh, so we have some brats left, some beans, we have some meat of course from the, he did give a good bunch of it away, but, um, and I am starving, I got to tell you. So that's what's going to go down here. I think I might make this little green salad to go with that. Let's get some vegetables up in our world while I'm cutting vegetables. How do you feel about that? 
sure. We've got some cucumbers here. Got some green peppers, some tomatoes. So, I apologize if my face is because I know this vlog wasn't all that exciting. I wasn't very entertaining for the peeps today, honey. No. Nope. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? They can't all be days when you're smoking meat, can they? Right. Uh, and tomorrow is going to be just as bad. So I did, when I was at Wilson's Quilt Shop, though, there were people there, so I wasn't able to vlog like I talked about earlier. So I will get it one of these days. I just want to, I don't want to, I try not to put random people in the vlog that don't want to be in the vlog. So yeah, with that, I think I'm going to say goodbye. If something else happens that I pick up the camera later, you'll see some more. But other, otherwise, we're going to chill out tonight. I'm going to work on some church stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning for day eight. Today's the seventh? Yes, for day eight, so. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope we're having a good start to the week. When you guys see this, it's probably Wednesday, so happy hump day, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.